Hello, everybody, and welcome to our Wednesday Bible study, uh, our Roman Road Bible study. Let's go ahead and open up with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this time that we have to come and worship you, to come and be here in your presence. Lord, please fall on this place as we go into this time of just delving into your word, delving into the Roman road, and understanding why we need to be saved, why we we need to be um know of our salvation and know where we stand with you and it is so vitally important and in in, in Jesus's name I pray amen well welcome back everybody uh, this is our third session in the Roman Road series that we've been going through it's been very exciting so far I hope you enjoyed if you haven't seen the previous two episodes i encourage you to go back and watch those um so for today's verse for today's key verse that we're going to be looking at it comes from romans of course <laughs> romans chapter 6 and verse 23 and it says for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we've talked a little bit back in our first session about this verse. I mentioned it maybe once or twice. But today we're going to actually dwell on that verse for a minute. For the wages of sin is death. We've already established, we know and understand why the wages of sin is death. We understand what happened to cause sin to enter into the world. We understand that um, death is the result of that. Um, and we understand that we are sinners. Uh, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Christ our Lord. So we we need this gift. This gift needs to be shared. If you want to tweet about something, write a Facebook about something, tell your friends, your family, this is the number one topic in America and in the world really that we should be discussing is God's word and how to be saved because people need to know this stuff. I mean, this is one of the most important decisions they'll ever make. And so um, salvation is nothing to kid around with. And I, and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so it's just, it's vital in our Christian walk to talk about Scripture, talk about uh, who God is, what God's love means, and how to be in a relationship with God that will last forever. Now, I think as we begin to talk about this subject and, and this uh, verse, uh, Romans 6.23, we need to really take a moment to establish another aspect as to why we need salvation through Jesus Christ. Um, there is a lot of belief that is going around in the world today that, you know, it, as long as you believe something, or as long as your family member believes something, that's going to be your ride into heaven. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to cause a big ruckus about it or say anything different. As long as you just believe in something, you're good. And I I'm sorry to say that I'm not actually sorry to say this because it's the truth Jesus Christ is the only way to get to heaven I want to read from you to you from Matthew chapter 7 uh, starting in verse 13 and uh, Jesus is going through like parable after parable and story after story in, in talking to people and is starting in verse 13, he says, um, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many 
there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few be there that uh, few be there that find it. You get that? Narrow is the way. It's not this Christianity. Being a follower of Christ is not this broad spectrum of oh, well, any God will do. There's only one God in the whole universe. That's real, folks, and his name is Jesus Christ. His name is the Lord God Almighty, the King of Kings, the Great I Am, Yeshua, Messiah. <laughs> that is our one true God, the God of Abraham. So, narrow is the way. There is only one person in the world who can get you into heaven, and that's Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. So, you know, I mean, and Jesus, later on in Matthew, in chapter 19, he discusses this even further when he's talking about the, the young rich ruler who comes to, to ask him questions, and he's like, um, well, I'll just read it to you. It starts in... Uh, Verse 20, let's see, yeah, I'm just going to start it at verse 20. Uh, the young man saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? And Jesus said if, unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great he had great possessions. And Jesus and said Jesus unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And when the, the disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who can be? Who then can be saved? But Jesus said unto them, and said, beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. The only way to really get to heaven, if you really want to get to heaven, is to recognize Jesus is the only way. And what he did on the cross for us is the only way. We're going to get to that story later on in our series. But Jesus is the only way to understand that God is your only way into heaven and to accept him into your life. That is what we need more of in America and in our world today. So maybe you're sitting here saying, I, I've always, you know, just thought I could believe in something. You know, maybe you've believed in other things and it hasn't really been working. Let me tell you, God is here for you, and he loves you so very much. He is wanting to be, he, he is wanting to be in a relationship with you. He is wanting to love you, and he wants you to cry out to him today. Go to the foot of the cross, kneel, pray to God, and ask him into your life today, and ask him to wipe your sins away. Because if you truly want to be saved, that's all you need to do to be saved today. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Because you are precious. And don't just say the prayer. you got to believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's the key. Because anybody can say a prayer, and there's many who have said prayers before, but they never felt it. They have a whole lot of knowledge up here, as I said before in one of the previous Bible studies. They have a whole lot of knowledge about who Christ is and what Christ has done. And they know all the right words to say, and they know all the right cues to make it sound good, and they their, their philosophies and their intellect, they all seem like they're secure. 
But unless you have an actual physical, or not physical, unless you actually have an actual relationship with Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and love Him with all of your soul, your heart, your mind, your strength, all of you, that's what it is to say, I have surrendered my life to Jesus Christ and I'm taking up my cross and I'm following Him no matter what the cost. Let's go ahead and close out with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this time that we've had to come and before your throne of grace and just to realize that, Lord, we know it's a narrow way to get to you, but we are so thankful for what your son Jesus did on the cross for us. And we know that we can come to you whenever we need to, to find comfort, to find your love, and to find your understanding. And Lord, we thank you so much for that. It is in your precious and holy name I pray. Amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow for our Acapella Thursday, and then next Sunday for our next Bible study, and the next Wednesday for our next... Um, oh, I forget the, oh, <laughs> Roman Road series, uh, episode, so you don't want to miss that. Remember to hit that subscribe, like, and notifications button, and, uh, we will see you next time tomorrow. I'll see you next time, uh, on Acapella Thursday. Bye-bye.